Forest Park police are warning residents to be on alert after a string of armed robberies. Officers say there's been a violent spike in crime along a two-block area along a main road. News Head reporter Denise Dillon is live in Forest Park. And Denise, we understand the store right behind you has been hit twice. Yeah, the most recent time Wednesday night, and this isn't the only business that's been targeted. That's why police are out warning residents, business owners, and customers to be on alert. So as I was walking out the door, I saw the flyer. I was like, you know, maybe something in the area. I wasn't thinking it was that store. Right. The store I shop at all the time. Forest Park Police posted flyers in businesses along Forest Parkway after a series of robberies. They want people to know what's been happening so they'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. And they'll be on alert because none of the men who were armed and desperate for cash have been captured. Like I stay down the road and it's been that many robberies within this span, it's kind of scary. The most recent robbery was Wednesday at the Family Dollar. A man with a skeleton mask and a gun demanded the clerks give him all the money in the registers. Investigators say the same man with the same mask and the same gun robbed the same store a month earlier. And police say there have been other robberies nearby. That corridor right now, we've had five robberies, either pedestrian or commercial, in the last 30 days. A gunman walked into the Waffle House looking for cash and two separate cases of men being held up at this intersection. Money, clothing items, and a cell phone. While police try to track down the robbers, they urge everyone to be careful. Forest Park, normally the presence is heavy. I mean, so I can't imagine that many robberies in the area with so much police present. Yeah, police often drive up and down the stretch of roadway where these crimes are happening, and they say they'll be doing it even more so until these thieves are caught. Reporting live in Forest Park, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News.